Nervously, you lift the heavy lid of the elegant coffin. Okay. What are we gonna find? You peek into its red satin interior. The coffin is unoccupied, huh. and you feel relief wash over you. All right. Let's look in here. As you prepare to look inside the coffin. Okay. King Graham, I presume. Uh oh. You turn on your heel. Shit. There, blocking the only exit from this dismal room, Graham. stands the Count. His skin is pale. His eyes jet black. He wears a black cloak nearly identical to the one that you possess. You know me? Ah, yes indeed. Sister Hagatha alerted me to your arrival. Arrival. Alright, let's talk to him. The Count is tall and elegantly dressed with a black cloak around him. His face and hands are chalk white and his <clears throat> lips are blood red. Let's talk to him. You have no desire to sing here. Desperate to stall for time, you query the Count. Sister Hagatha, you say? Who is she? The Count regards you mm. with a suspicious glare. Though I suspect you already know the answer, Hagatha is a charming mage who does as she pleases in this land. Strange. Mm. I was not aware a new ruler had been elected. Do not be foolish. Hagatha has no interest in the politics of this wretched place, nor do I in point of fact. Death tends to diminish one's taste for power. No. At present, she is interested only in one thing. As am I, your destruction. Uh oh. Oh crap. In an instant, you are flat against the wall. The Count has you pinned so well you can't move a muscle, much less put up a defense. Oh crap, you what are we gonna do? You can feel the Count's iron-cold <clears throat> hand on your throat. You have barely seconds before the inevitable happens. Let's just see what happens before the inevitable happens. The Count no longer appears interested in humoring your delay tactics. Uh, okay, let's give her him, give him uh, the cross. The Count snatches the cross key from you, and to your complete surprise, kisses it. Huh. A sarcastic grin flickers on his face for a moment. God bless Kolima. And he drinks my blood. Two sharp pricks in the side of your neck. Soon after, your mind succumbs to unconsciousness as your precious lifeblood seeps away. Down for the count. Let's restore our game. And Never open the comment. You lift the heavy lid of the elegant coffin. This time we gotta do the right thing. You peek into its red satin interior. The coffin is unoccupied, and you feel relief wash over you. What's As in there? You prepare to look inside the coffin. King Graham, I presume. There you he turn is. on your heel. There, blocking the only exit from this dismal room, stands the Count. His skin is pale, his eyes jet black. He wears a black cloak nearly identical to the one that you possess. You know me? Ah, yes indeed. Mm. Sister Hagatha alerted me to your arrival, dear King. Alright, let's talk to this guy again. You have no desire. Desperate to stall for time, you query the Count. Sister Hagatha, you say? Who is she? The Count regards you with a suspicious glare. Though I suspect you already know the answer, mm. Hagatha is a charming mage who does as she pleases in this land. Strange. I was not aware a new ruler had been elected. Do not be foolish. Hagatha has no interest in the politics of this wretched place, nor do I in point of fact. Death tends to diminish one's taste for power. No, at present, she is interested only in one thing. As am I, your destruction. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Get ready. In an instant, you are flat against the wall. The Count has you pinned so well you can't move a muscle, much less put up a defense. 
You can feel the Count's iron-cold hand on your throat. You have barely seconds before the inevitable happens. Alright, this time we have to use something more effective. What could we use? Uh... The red ring. With difficulty, you manage to loosen the ruby ring from your finger and drop it to the floor. The Count's eyes dart to it quickly, then okay. flash angrily back to you. Where did you get that? Get that! An elderly woman who lives in a house to the south of here, near the beach. She gave it to me for helping her. The Count regards mm -hmm. you for a moment. His dark eyes bore unendingly into yours, of course. and you feel as if your very soul is bare. What do you know of her? She is not well. I know. Do you think I am not aware of that? You are sweating profusely. Hopefully this vampire doesn't find the odor appetizing. Night is the most dangerous of times for my mortal family. I have kept constant vigil over my wife for many years so that from the darkness no harm would come to her. When her time comes, we will be together forever. I think tonight will be the night. I have seen her this very eve. I did what I could to help her, but I do not think it was enough. It's gonna let me go or what? Makes his way out. And the vampire bat. As you watch the giant bat fly out of the room, you realize with dread that the Count has confiscated your crucifix. Without it, you are trapped in this castle. Now, what are you going to do? Alright. Um, yeah, what are we going to do? Let's save, um... Save our progress. As... After Kaldor. Or survive Kaldor. Let's look at the the, uh, the uh, coffin again. You peer into the ornate coffin, finding it unoccupied. You see that the interior is lined with a shiny red satin. Okay, what's in here? A beautiful satin pillow adorns the interior of this ornate coffin. Lift it up. Aha! At last, you have located the final gem, the Indeed. death gem. We've got the death gem, folks. We've got the death gem. The death gem radiates an ominous red glow. All right, grab it. You breathe deeply, reach out, and yes. take the stone in your hands. It is ice cold to the touch, mm. but you don't care. This is the last thing you need to unlock the door of destiny. Yes. Now all you have to do is get out of here. We've got the death gem, folks. We can make our way out to the door of destiny. It is a slightly luminescent red stone about the size of your palm. You feel a draining energy radiating from it. You feel a sustaining energy. You feel a rejuvenating energy radiating from it. All right. We've got the red gem, the save our progress as, we'll save this as death gem. We've saved, we've achieved the death gem. Now let's get back upstairs and see if we can escape this place. Today's gaming video is brought to you by Brave, truly faster, actually safer.